morning, everyone. Uh, there's a woman who lives here in Palm Beach who told me a true story about her daughter that going back in the 70s, her daughter wanted to go on a trip to Israel one summer, and it was before birthright, so she didn't know her daughter wanted to go to Israel. Non religious family, but she wanted to go to Israel. So she figured maybe Yeshiva University has a trip. So she called Yeshiva University, spoke to various offices. Finally, they told her there is a trip, but they asked her the following question They said, Is your daughter observant? So she said, uh, yeah, my daughter is very observant. Uh, she meant that she's very bright, she's very observant, she observes things well. Completely secular girl. They said, okay, we do have a trip for observant boys and girls. She signed up for the trip, gets on the bus, and she realizes she's the only non-religious person on the trip. The good news is that at the end of the trip, she became observant in, in the religious sense, and she ended up marrying a very prominent rabbi in Israel. In this week's parsha, there's a verse that says, Ushmartem mitzvosai, you should observe my commandments, vaasisem osem, and do them, perform them. I am God, Ani Hashem. And the question is, if it already says perform them, why does it say you should observe them and then perform them? It seems redundant, repetitive. Observe them and do them. There's a beautiful story about a community. You know, there's uh, many societies in every community. One that deals with the sick, one that deals with hospitality, and one deals with the burial of the dead. It's called the Hevra Kadisha. And the story that the community, a certain community in Amsterdam, opened up a new cemetery. And they dedicated a new plot to be the communal new cemetery. And the first Jew died after the dedication of the ceremony, of the plot. And the Heber Kadisha came early in the morning to dig the first grave. And they see it's already dug. Everyone asked each other who dug it. No one knew. It was a mystery. So they proceeded with the funeral. And after the funeral, they did an investigation to see how did this plot get dug. And they discovered that there's a certain Jew in the community who was a Kohen. Now we know that a Kohen is not allowed to go to a cemetery only for seven immediate relatives, which means that a Kohen could never participate in the mitzvah of Hever Kadisha, the burial of the dead, because he's forbidden from going into the cemetery. Yeah. So when this Jew, who was a Kohen, heard that a new cemetery was inaugurated, and the first Jew died, he said, this is my once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do the mitzvah of the burial of the dead, because there's no one buried in the cemetery, so it's not ritually unclean for me. So he got up early, went and dug the grave, so he could do the mitzvah at least once in his lifetime. And perhaps this is the meaning, Ushmartem et mitzvah say, you should be, observe my commandments, and then you will perform them. Meaning, if you are observant in the sense that you're always observing where there's an opportunity to do a mitzvah, then, Vasisimosim, you will come to perform many commandments because there are opportunities abound to do good deeds. The question is if you're observing it. And I'll just conclude with the story that there was a story about a farmer who uh, visited his cousin in New York City. And they're walking down the street in the Fifth Avenue, you know, wherever it was, a very Times Square, a very hustle bustle of New York. And suddenly the farmer stops and says, One minute, I hear a bird chirping. And they stopped, they look up, and sure enough, there's a tree right on top of them with a bird chirping. And the New York cousin says, all the noise in New York City, Times Square, how did you hear a bird chirping? He didn't answer. They kept on walking, and the cousin from the farmer uh, was visiting New York, took out a handful of change and dropped it on the floor. And the cousin from New York says, woman, I hear money jingling on the floor, dang, they're falling. And he starts picking up the coins. He says, how did you hear the money dropping in the middle of New York City? And the idea is that everyone's ears and eyes are attuned to different things. We see many things and hear many things during the day. The question is what we hone in on, what we focus on, what our antennas are receiving. So when a person's antennas are up and looking for opportunities to help another person to do a mitzvah, to do a good deed, then if you observe, if you have your eyes open, vasisimosim, you'll have boundless opportunities to perform many, many mitzvahs.